and welcome back to my channel home with Simone my name is Simone and as always I want to start off by saying thank you to all of my existing and new subscribers I really do appreciate every single one of you and guys if you're watching my channel and you haven't subscribed as yet please don't forget to hit the subscription button below don't forget to like also comment let me know that you're part of our family and turn on your notification bells now, today is December 26th, which means yesterday was Christmas. So I'm hoping everybody had a wonderful Christmas, whether you celebrate it in a traditional way or not. I'm hoping everybody had a really great day with family, whether talking over the phone or Skype or even having the opportunity to have family physically present. Guys, let's see what I got for Christmas 2020. So... Let's look at Shiloh's gifts to me. Now Shiloh does all of his own Christmas shopping. I don't do any Christmas shopping for him. He saves up his little money and then he'll go buy his gifts at Christmas time. I mean, obviously he's 11, so I wouldn't let him go shopping in a mall without me being present. Um, so I may stand up outside of the store while he goes in, things like that, just so he can feel a sense of independence, but I'm still there um, as an adult. Now this gift made me cry, but before we get into that gift, let's look at some of the fun ones. So my son is very attentive. He pays attention to what people like and he buys really thoughtful gifts. So one of my first gifts I got was two things. They were packaged together. Um, there are these macaroons. Listen, oh my God. These are so good, completely unhealthy, a heart attack in a box, but well worth it. I love these. I purposely don't buy them because I literally will just eat the whole box. But needless to say, when I opened my first present and I saw this, I was super happy. The next gift that he got me, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is my favorite chocolate ever. Aside from Godiva, this is my favorite. I love Toblerone. Now there's a couple different flavors, but <laughs> I, I got into it as you can tell. But this is the one that I like. It's the one with the nugget or nugget, whatever you call it. So it's a Swiss milk chocolate with honey and almond nougat. I think that's how you say it. So that was that. And it's huge. Um, I probably will not eat this whole thing anytime soon, but I will nibble on it. It's very sweet, but it's so good. And this size only comes at Christmas time. They have the smaller ones, but so this is what it looks like when you open it. I mean, I took a bite off this morning. Mm, look at that. That's what it looks like. So it's like little pyramid shapes. And you know what's kind of fun about this chocolate? I know it's kind of corny, but it actually spells the word Toblerone. So you know exactly how many pieces you're getting. Mm. The other gift from Shiloh, now he knows I'm very particular with my scents uh, when it comes to like perfumes and those kind of things. But I've been recently looking for a new perfume because I've been using the same one for years and I kind of want something a little different. Um, he did something that was so smart. I'm not like a brand, I'm not the kind of person that's going to buy something because it says Versace or Gucci or Balenciaga. Like, it doesn't matter. As long as I like it, I'll purchase it. So it could be something for $5 or something for 500 If I like it, I'm going to get it. So I'm not the kind of person that's only going to wear brand name things or luxury brands. That's not... For me, it doesn't matter if your outfit's $5 or your outfit's 5000 As long as you can afford the pieces you're getting and you feel good in it, that's all that matters. So with him being so thoughtful, he knows Versace is one of my favorite luxury brands. He got me the Versace sample perfume set. So there are four sample perfumes um, and they're five milliliters each. There is the Versace Dylan or Dylan Blue. Then this is the Versace E-R-O-S. And then the next word is P-O-U-R, and then it's F-E-M-M. -M. So I know that's, you know, perfume for females, but I don't know what the E-R-O-S means. I don't know if you can see that. 
This one is the Versace Yellow Diamond, and this one is the Versace Bright Crystal. I opened them all. Um, the one I love the most is this one, the Dylan Blue. I'm going to give this a try for a couple of days and see how the scent settles with my body. And I probably will get a larger bottle of this if the smell, you know, because everybody, it smells differently on everybody, right? So if this goes well with me, I'm in. But I love the fact that he was thoughtful enough to think about getting me something with options and something that I like. I'll wear the other ones, absolutely, but my favorite is this one. So that was the Versace sample set. Guys, this was the gift that really made me cry. Like I tear it up. So um, let me just put it back in the little package in the way I opened it. So my son got me this little gift from Michael Hill. And inside of it was this little box. So their signature box is the purple. And it has like a cute little Christmas village on the outside of it. It's really cute. And it says, it's truly the thought that counts on it, which I think is such a cute little saying. I always say that to him. Because he's always like, Mom, but it didn't cost a lot. And I'm like, it doesn't matter, buddy. It's only the thought that counts. So when I open this, my heart just, how beautiful are these little earrings? I don't know if it shows up clearly. I'll probably take a picture. Um, so they have like little diamonds in the bottom half of it. They're so beautiful. I really love them. I literally started to cry. I was like, oh, and I did the ugly cry too. <laughs> Oh, my sweet, sweet boy. Love it. Then let's go on to my broski. So my, actually, before I go on to my brother, I'm just going to show this gift was so cute. So this is one of my really dear friends. Oh, I mean, we've been friends for well over 10 years. And how cute is this little bottle holder? <laughs> She dropped this off it was just the cutest thing I love even the cap has a hat I love getting gifts with like a thoughtful presentation because when I give a gift I always make sure that I you know wrap it up nicely and I do my best to present it beautifully so I love when someone does the same thing and I'm the one receiving the gift I'm like oh my gosh I will never get rid of this little bottle I'm gonna use this every year on something so what this is is a bottle of sorrel now I am West Indian so sorrel is something that we do drink during Christmas. You have your sorrel, you have your black cake, you have your pound cake, you have your fruit cake. Like those are things culturally that we drink. So I was really, really, really happy that she gave me a bottle of homemade sorrel and it's to die for. Now, I think I might hide this bottle and drink it myself because it's just so good. <laughs> no, I'll give, I'll, I'll share, but no, it's really good. So this was a really, really thoughtful gift it's homemade and it tastes delicious so that was a sorrel for my girlfriend now let's get into my brother's gifts so i'll pick this one up first realize what it was i was even happier because i'm like oh my gosh an apple cider i love apple cider it's 5.3 percent alcohol it comes in a bottle of six i had one yesterday my brother's friend had one and my brother had one this is what they look like. Guys, they're so delicious. It's so light. And it's really, really refreshing. It's just beautiful. And it's not very high in alcohol. I'm not a huge drinker, so I probably will have this for a couple more days, if anything. And I may just share with my brother, you know. Alrighty. Oh, this was from Shiloh. But my, obviously, an adult bought it for him. I don't know if you guys checked out my DIY. He unfortunately accidentally broke that bottle. And so he replaced it. <laughs> he says, Mom, I hope you can do another DIY with that. I'm like, absolutely. I'll think of something for this one. So that was thoughtful that he replaced it. It's the new Amsterdam Pink Whitney. As always, 
my little original Baileys. I always have Baileys. Guilty pleasure, guys. I like it on vanilla ice cream. Um, it's so delicious. You just kind of whip it all together and make like a milkshake. It's so good. Um, or you can just have it on ice. But yeah, so just regular Baileys. It's the original cream, not the... Because they have like the, the plain one, but this is a cream one that I like. And then my brother got me a smooth, fresh, very balanced rosé. Refreshing, crisp, with aromas of ripe strawberries and a smooth finish. So, it says, goes great with lighter meals like grilled salmon or salads. It is 12.5% alcohol. The size of the bottle is 750 milliliters, and it is the brand Unwind, with the N that's written backwards. So, this is the bottle, and it's called Stop and Smell the Rosé. So, this is the name of the bottle, Stop and Smell the Rosé. So, I'm excited to have this. I love rosés. I love moscatos, especially in the summertime. Oh my gosh, love it! And then the next one is the Kitlin Ridge White Zinvan. Just try this again. <laughs> the Kitlin Ridge White Zinfandel Vidal. And I'm not going to try to say the other word because it's not English. So this is what it looks like. 10.5% alcohol, so it has a little bit of a higher alcohol percentage in this one. It is a semi-sweet blush wine with fresh, crisp berry aroma and delicate, refreshing fruit flavors of strawberries and citrus. It also says to pair with like meals, like pasta dishes and cheese. I love when they give you a suggestion of what to pair it with because really what you eat does take up, bring out certain tones in what you drink. So I probably will have this with something very light in the summertime. And... It is um, 750 milliliters. Sorry, I don't know if I said that before. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm excited for this. Again, another great summer drink. I am going to be doing over my bar a Ciroc wall. I have thought about it for quite some time and I have decided I'm going to do a Ciroc wall over top of the bar. It's a small area, but I think it's going to look really sexy. I love the shape of the Ciroc bottles, and I absolutely love the way that the bottles are designed. It's so sexy. To me, I love the bottle. Now, I had made, I mentioned that to my broski and to other people around me, and so for Christmas, guys, I got some really beautiful flavors of Ciroc. So, we have... This one, oh. So this flavor is peach. And for those of you that don't know what Ciroc is, it's a spirit drink, right? Um, this has 35% alcohol and all of these bottles are gonna be 750 milliliters. It is a product of France. So this is what the peach Ciroc bottle looks like. So that's one. The next one I got was from my brother, and this one is the apple. I thought it was lime or lemon when I saw it. I was like, is this lime? But it's actually the apple Ciroc, and again, the percentage is 35% alcohol, 750 milliliters, and this is what this bottle looks like. I don't know if you guys can see clearly. And then the last bottle of Ciroc that I got is the um, grape one. Same thing. Oh, no, this one is 40% alcohol. Same size, 750 milliliters. But this one is 40% alcohol. Hmm. And it is the grape one, grape flavor. How beautiful is that blue? I thought grape would be purple, but the blue is gorgeous. And then on my existing bar right now, I'll grab the one I already have. The same person that gave me the uh, peach, they had given me this one for my birthday last year. This was the first bottle that I got, and this is the coconut. So I'm really, really excited. This one's 35%, uh, 700, oh, sorry, 35% alcohol, and it's 750 milliliters. 
and it is yeah, nothing else special. It's just the coconut. But I I love them. Like how gorgeous is this bottle? It kind of goes a little narrow on the top and kind of comes out a little bit on the bottom. And then I love how it's like the color down here and then it has a co the color here, but everything else you can see right through. So this is why I think this is a perfect bottle to go on this wall because it's a small space. But because the bottles are not completely solid in color, it's not going to look like there's a lot happening because you'll still see the wall behind it. So it'll still give that nice light feeling that's presently there. And the goal, guys, when I do my Ciroc wall, which you'll be all be a part of, the goal is for me to have the glass uh, shelves. Now, I have to see. I don't want them huge. It just needs to be enough to fit one. So I've got to be, I, I got to start looking around and seeing what I can find that's going to make sense for the space. Won't damage my walls, strong enough to hold up multiple bottles and looks aesthetically pleasing. So in the meantime, I will continue to collect my bottles of Ciroc to like hopefully have all of them and then we can get the wall started. So that was that with the alcohol. And then the last couple gifts that I got was... A $50, this is for my brother, a $50 LCBO gift card, which is probably going to go towards a bottle of Ciroc, <laughs> honestly. And by now, guys, you know how much I truly love HomeSense. So I was quite happy when I got these two cards. So I have a $50 HomeSense gift card and I have a $50 winner's gift card. The good thing about these cards is they're owned by the same company. So Winners, HomeSense, and Marshalls, you can literally use these cards at all stores. So if I went into HomeSense and I wanted to spend $100 there, I could use my Winners card there and vice versa. So I really, really like that. Um, I definitely will be doing a video on what I purchased with my gift cards and it will most likely be home decor for my home. Once the pandemic can just go away uh, and stores can open up, then I'll be able to do a video, guys, with what I got and how I style my home with those items, and I'll make sure and do um, a haul as well. So I'll take you shopping, buy the stuff, we'll do the haul, and then we'll style the home. But yeah, so that was it for what I got for Christmas. I love everything. I'm so thankful to everybody that thought about me throughout the holidays and that, you know, sent me messages to say happy holidays, season's greetings, Merry Christmas. I really do appreciate it. And my love goes out to all of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Home with Simone. And thank my goal is still to hit a thousand. Right now we are, I think last time I checked, we were at 538 subscribers. So I'm so grateful for all 538 of you guys. Like my heart feels so full <laughs> knowing that you are a subscribe and that you like my content and you continue to watch it again don't forget to like the videos to comment especially if you're new so i can welcome you to our little family and also turn on your notification bells i do upload frequent videos and i am thinking that i may continue doing vlogmas style videos so video a day until the end of the year um, I might. If not, my videos will definitely be at least two to three videos throughout the week. But we only have like five or six days left in the year. And I'm really thinking that I might just kind of wrap up the year by doing videos every day for those days and putting that content out. So turn on your notification bell and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you're watching all the time and you just haven't hit the subscribe button, just hit it. We'll see you guys in the next video.